everyone, I'm Carol Ann Harrison. And I'm Kelsey Perry, and you're watching The Rundown. Kelsey, guess what? What? Today's Challenge Day. Awesome. Here's Callie Matlock with the details on how the rest of the day will go. As you all know, today is Challenge Day. Challenge Day is an event that happens every two years at Loyola and is filled with fun games and competitions for all. Here's a look at some past Challenge Days to see what you'll be doing today. Fun Challenge Day Flyers, this has been Callie Matlock reporting. Thanks Callie. Tomorrow is Literary Rally as some students will be traveling to Baton Rouge. Allie Johnson gives us more information on this educational event. Tomorrow is State Literary Rally and Loyola will be very well represented in Baton Rouge. 26 of Loyola students will be in attendance, plus the drama team will be performing as well. Loyola will also be participating in some extra foreign language events. And now here is Mead Patton with more information on the upcoming state rally. So a uh, small group of guys and gals are going to the state rally uh, later today in Baton Rouge uh, to perform an abbreviated version of the play, The Amish Project. Uh, we performed that at the district rally in Natchitoches uh, in February and achieved a superior rating, which was necessary to allow us to go on to Baton Rouge. They did great with it. The judges liked it, had a lot of great feedback. So we're hoping that we can uh, duplicate that or even do better at the state rally. Good luck to everybody participating in state literary rally. This has been Allie Johnston reporting. The seniors that went on the senior trip seem to have had a great time. Here's Eliza Drummond with the recap video of their trip to Austria and Germany. We just left Kruger on the way to Houston Airport right now. Front of the motor coach under the first Stop seat zooming out. Of side of <laughs> so excited we're going to Germany! Keep me where the light is, keep me where the bright is To let me show me where to ride is I've been on the low side, I've been on the high side Look, I need to get out, find me in the high tide Get out of the Wi-Fi, get out of the timeline I don't need a limelight, just a line of my time Take me to that real life, take me for a lifetime We're at the top of the rock
give me that earth and breeze. Rolling down the window, 82 degrees. All my problems chasing me. Where I'm going, they can be. And if they come, I will go to somewhere that's never cold. Might just stay. Here's Andrew Flanagan with this week's sports. The lacrosse team beat Parkway 17-12 yesterday in Mesmer Stadium. It was a well-balanced scoring effort from the entire offense. The Flyers are now 5-1 overall and will play Newman Sunday at 11 o'clock at Mesmer Stadium in the final home game of the year. The baseball team beat Negrete 12-2 yesterday at Cicero Field to improve to 19-5. Chance Lyon hit his fifth home run of the year, and Riggs Easterling had two doubles to lead the Flyers. The baseball team will play at DeRitter tomorrow. Golf and tennis are continuing their seasons as they prepare for their state tournaments. That's all for sports. This has been Andrew Flanagan reporting. There are several student athletes that have achieved a very special award. Here's Mary Catherine Bernard with more details. After dominating the 2018-2019 season, the Flyers are still dominating in soccer after the season is over. The All-State teams have been named and Loyola leads the way in both boys and girls. The girls had more first-team selections than any other school in any division and took home all three top awards. The Flyers had an amazing six first-team selections and Callie Matlock is the offensive MVP, Janie Ponty is the defensive MVP, and Mark Matlock was named Coach of the Year. Also named to the first team, Sarah Campbell, Gracie Payne, Mary Frances Ratcliffe, and Mary Catherine Smith. On the boys' team, Carson Berry is the co-offensive MVP, and Matt Monsor is the defensive MVP. In addition, Ben Tuttle was named to the second team. Loyola was the only school to have four MVPs in any division on the All-State teams. There's a special event tonight with the softball team. Here's Kennedy Carter with more information. There is a very important game tonight at Mesmer, but it is way more than just a game. It's the annual Strikeout Childhood Cancer Game. Food will be served in free admission to all students with an ID. Here is the true message of what today's game is all about. The annual Strikeout Childhood Cancer Game honors the memory of John David Scribner and the 1,500 children per year who lose their battles with childhood cancer in the United States. John David is the brother of former softball players Catherine and Celia Scribner. John David was just eight years old when he was diagnosed with brain cancer. He fought the horrors of chemo and radiation with a smile on his face and an amazingly positive attitude for four whole years before he lost his brave fight with cancer on March 3, 2016. All of the proceeds made at the game will go to the Children's Medical Center in honor of John David. And here's Paxton Florio with an interesting news report. Oh, hey there, Loyola. I didn't see you there for a second. Well, since you're here, let's get ready for some news. Buckle up. In case you're unaware, this Saturday is a free mock ACT at Magnolia. It's a great way to boost your ACT scores. For more information and to get forms, talk to Ms. Alexander in the Anderson Building. Now, let's take a dive into cross country. I'm currently standing right now beside Mr. Fialba, who is the coach for cross country this year, and he has a special invitation for everyone. Hi everyone, I would like to invite all of you here to the Run Run Snoopy 5K here at Loyola College Prep, August 24, 2019. We're going to have a great race, and we want to see who's the fastest flyer in town. Hopefully, you'll have a lot of fun with your friends because we're going to have great t-shirts that you can sign up for by $20, and you get in the race. Great t-shirt, popsicles, there's going to be ice cream, snow cones, you name it. We're going to have a blast. 
So don't forget to get your form at room 101 or online at Sports Spectrum. And we hope to see you all there. Thank you. Pura Vida is an expression to Costa Rica to define the simplicity and relaxed lifestyle they have there. In the summer of 2020, Ms. Sobral will be hosting a once in a lifetime opportunity to travel there. It is open to all Loyola students and she encourages everyone to apply. For more information on this special event, talk to her in room 205. Now, let's head off to Pizza Row for our fundraiser. Next Tuesday, April 9th, Loyola Cross Country Team will be hosting a fundraiser at Pizza Row, which is currently behind me right now. It is from 5 to 9 p.m. And make sure whenever you order your food to take out at the table to say Loyola Cross Country Team. Don't forget flyers. Prompt tickets are on sale for $45 each. That's all for this week's news. See you next time in the doghouse. That's all for this week's rundown. Have fun at Challenge Day.